the partnership is one that uh, we say will provide an opportunity for us to do the kind of work we are doing on the continent of Africa more effectively, especially uh, in helping us to attract more trade financing to the continent. Uh, there are a whole lot of problems affecting trade finance. International banks are exiting the continent, making it much more difficult for our countries to access trade finance. Uh, we continue to try to bridge that gap, uh, but there's only so much we can do. But with work with the WTO on our side, we hope that we'll be able to uh, get international banks to expand supply of trade finance on the continent. Going from there to the Cutting 4 Plus project, we hope that that will be a platform for revamping the cotton industry on the continent. Our Fraser Bank is fully committed to it. Uh, we've invested over $2 billion in building industrial parks on the continent, especially in the countries uh, that comprise the Cotton 4 Plus. We are committed to expanding that investment because we know that if we do so, not only will we create jobs, but we will then create capacities uh, in doing value-added production of cotton products that will dynamize our economy and create even more jobs. We are delighted to have this uh, MOU with our Fregzim Bank. We already have been working together, so this is trying to formalize it. And we're hoping that uh, next, by October, we'll be able to gather all the public banks together to try to look at the issues of supply chain finance and trade finance, as the president mentioned. But very exciting is also the cotton because this is very concrete and uh, the reasons he gave creating jobs keeping young people on the continent adding value so that countries can trade more with each other within africa but also export in and try to get a slice of the sports apparel uh, value chain in the partnership with fifa unido ilo afrexim bank all of us are together in trying to do this so exciting times ahead <laughs>